Hello and welcome to vlog number 41. This week I'm going to talk about the role that heavy metals may play in Parkinson's disease. I noticed an article this week on www.realnatural.com entitled Parkinson's disease linked to exposure to heavy metals. The article references a new study from India that finds that Parkinson's patients have significantly elevated levels of copper and iron in their plasma. Researchers concluded that the increased iron levels induced oxidative stress in PD. Other researchers also found an association between copper and iron and Parkinson's. One of the findings being that they result in an increase of tyrosine derivative levels in brain cells. Increased levels of dityrosine and 3-nitrotyrosine have been found in many Parkinson's cases and these are associated with increased Lewy bodies and alpha-synuclein proteins. At the root of these processes is oxidative stress. Parkinson's disease is a chronic progressive neurological condition that is associated with the loss of dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra of the brain. The mechanism by which these cells are lost is unknown, but oxidative stress is thought to perform an important role in dopaminergic neurotoxicity. Oxidative stress is a process caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that damage or oxidise cells throughout the body. Those of you who follow my blogs and vlogs will know that I am convinced that my Parkinson's was triggered by sensitivity to heavy metals used in dentistry. Mercury, a potent neurotoxin, meaning that it kills brain and nerve cells, is a key component of dental amalgam. It has been proven that mercury vapour is emitted by dental amalgam in the mouth. There is no safe limit for exposure to mercury. Mercury vapour is absorbed and carried by the blood to cells in all organs of the body, where it kills cells, crosses and damages the blood-brain barrier, resulting in the accumulation of mercury and other toxic substances in the brain, notably in the motor function areas of the brain and central nervous system, and generates high levels of oxidative stress. It also damages the immune system, facilitating bacterial, viral and fungal infections. Adversely affects the bacterial population of the gut, causing leaky gut syndrome. The accumulation of Helicobacter pylori, which is implicated in Parkinson's, and Candida albicans, and affecting the absorption of nutrients. I had all of my dental metals removed at considerable expense in the late 1990s, after deciding that my mercury amalgam fillings were poisoning me. Following which, the tremor in my hands reduced significantly and the tremor in my right leg disappeared completely. Opinion is divided over my symptoms at this point. I was diagnosed with benign essential tremor and told that I definitely didn't have Parkinson's disease, even though leg tremor is not characteristic of essential tremor, even though I'd lost my sense of smell, which is characteristic of PD. If this really was the start of early onset PD, then why did my leg tremor disappear following the removal of my dental metals? Parkinson's is a progressive disease. It doesn't shift into reverse. Many of the symptoms of mercury poisoning are the same, or are similar to, symptoms of PD and MS. And there are certainly accounts circulating on the internet of people who have been diagnosed with these conditions, and it turned out to be mercury poisoning. I am convinced that the sensitivity to dental metals, mercury and others, triggered my Parkinson's. It was in late 2010, early 2011, that my dentist installed some dental bridges that were backed with dental metals. And only a matter of a few weeks afterwards I started shaking again, my leg tremor returned, and the rest is history. The neurologist who diagnosed me with PD in 2011 was sceptical about my theory regarding dental metals, telling me that the odds were a million to one against. So I asked him, if I am that one person in a million, how will you ever know? Adding weight to my argument, my mother has advanced Parkinson's and a mouthful of amalgam. And my paternal grandmother had also been diagnosed with Parkinson's and was a dental surgeon. To his credit, he referred me to the dental hospital at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital and I was contacted almost immediately by a consultant who was quite excited about things, telling me that we know it is possible and that he was aware of a test that could be performed, a DMSA challenge test. 
Dimercaptosicinic acid or DMSA is a chemical used to treat lead, mercury and arsenic poisoning. It binds with heavy metals and allows them to leave the body in the urine. The challenge test is performed by taking a urine sample, administering a dose of DMSA and then taking another urine sample a couple of hours later for comparative analysis. When I arrived at the dental hospital to have this test, I found that the consultant, who was clearly embarrassed, had arranged for me to have a simple blood test, which had already been performed, telling me that if the blood test was positive, then they would perform the challenge test. I knew it wouldn't be. A blood test would only show mercury if I was currently being exposed to it, and since I no longer had any amalgam in my teeth, then that would not obviously be the case. It seemed to me that the consultant had been ordered not to perform the DMSA challenge test. Around about the same time, I was referred to the hospital's leading movement disorder specialist for a second opinion. Whilst discussing my symptoms, I mentioned mercury amalgam poisoning. He said, and I'm quoting verbatim, that's not something that I'm allowed to consider. There was no further discussion possible. I did try, but it was akin to banging my head against a wall. I consulted a private doctor in London who ordered a multitude of blood tests including a test for mercury which had superseded the DMSA challenge test and which came back with the most positive result that the doctor had ever seen. I followed the chelation protocol recommended by Andy Cutler and some six months later was retested. My test results showed a significant reduction in mercury but regrettably my Parkinson's symptoms were increasing rapidly. The opinion of the doctor was that my Parkinson's disease had been triggered by a sensitivity to dental metals, principally mercury. I happen to agree with that opinion. Neurologists tell us that one of the causes of PD is very likely environmental. All I can say is that mercury amalgam is an environmental toxin. Ask your dentist what happens to a mercury amalgam filling once it has been removed from your mouth. It has to be treated as toxic waste. And if science continues to dismiss it out of hand, then I really do despair. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.